Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that eventually pushes back. Today, we're going to talk about a company you might not want to do business with in the future. But first, let's pay a bill. And we're right! Okay, so this is a video I really didn't want to make, to be honest. I was hoping I wouldn't have to make this video. Uh, this video is about a company you guys know that I've been dealing with back and forth and I'm just going to straight up say it. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me pissed off on the channel before, but I'm pissed off right now. I feel like I've been taken advantage of. And what sets me off even more about this situation is that they know I have a YouTube channel. They know I'm not afraid to call people out. They know I'll talk about it. And they still screwed me over anyway. As the wise sage of this channel, Josh Fields, commented, if this is how they're going to treat me, how are they going to treat you guys without platforms? So we're going to get into it. But first of all, I do just want to thank, especially Josh Fields. He has a channel of his own. I highly recommend you guys check it out. He's in his infant stages of figuring out, you know, how he wants to shoot the thing, how he wants to record the thing, his sound editing. Trust me on this. It's an ongoing process. Every video I run into some new issue, like, look, see all the uh, shadows and stuff? It's because Lily's not here. And here, let's do this. Does that help? Not really. So I'm still learning as I go as well. However, the content of Josh's channel, I feel, is worth your time. He will shoot you straight. He's a very discerning purchaser of knives and will tell you when knives are worth his time, aren't worth his time. And what I really like about Josh is he has scruples when it comes to dealing with these companies. And, you know, by principle, he will not deal with certain companies I've been dealing with because he had a negative experience and he's just done with it. So if you want to be shot straight about products and things like that, you go to Josh's channel, check it out. I think you're going to like it a lot. You know, the guy throws pearls at you and he knows a lot about knives, a lot more than I do, I'd say. So this just looks a little more polished. That's all. Okay, my nonsense looks a little bit more polished and I've been doing it longer. So check out Josh's channel. That being said, you guys may or may not have remembered a few months ago, I teamed up with another company that turned out to be a little less than honest and I was lied to about their products and I went ahead, you know, promoting and, and trying to team up with this company. It was Josh initially that raised the alarm and followed by many others. By the way, many others. I was approached at a mechanism show about it and so on. So what happened? Well, I deleted the video and I learned my lesson, or so I thought. Now, Barton watch bands. Why am I so mad at them? Basically, I tried to team up with Barton watch bands. I have been purchasing their products for longer than they realize. I generally check out as a guest. So they probably didn't see a big ordering history. Uh, I told them I only have two watches. That's not exactly true. I only have two watches I wear, my Seiko SK5 and my G-Shock 5600 Blackout Solar Bluetooth. I do have other watches, as you can see, another beater uh, square here. And I have a couple of dress watches that I don't like wearing, by the way. There's really only two watches I enjoy wearing. It's these two. Okay, so apparently they thought I wasn't much of a watch guy. I told them, I told them that I am. I wear a watch every day of my life just because I don't have many watches doesn't mean I'm not a watch guy. It means I'm very particular in what I like, and I like these too. So, any hoozles. I have been purchasing their products for a long time, and I can tell you emphatically that the silicone bands that they provide do not last. Here is one half of a silicone band that broke on this watch. I threw out the broken half, and I never bothered them about it. I never tried to get a refund. I owned them for a couple months before they broke, and I figured, ah, maybe it's me. Then I ordered another set of silicone bands. I like that their spring bars came in here and were automatic and they, they go on pretty easy. Okay, if I can do it on camera, bingo, right? Oh, I just missed it. Hang on. Eh, right there. So that's on. You know, pretty, pretty snazzy, pretty easy, right? Well, the other half of this one broke too. Then I bought a, a third set of silicone watch bands for this particular watch. And those I sent back in their entirety recently and had spoken to both Clay, I believe he's the owner, and Josh, who works there, uh, also Tina in customer service, 
These are people I actually spoke to about this. I sent these bands in with my canvas gray bands and adapters I bought on this watch that you saw in the previous video. Now I'm not going to take that video down because it does hurt me financially. I get ad revenue and every time I take down a video it screws me over, to be honest. So I'm going to leave that up. But even in the video I said, oh, these were backwards and so on. In the comments I said I'm having issues. I'll leave it up. I'm, I'm going to leave it up. No reason to take it down. Then I made another update video in the last one where I talked about how they've been ghosting me and ignoring me. And I'm going to put up a couple emails right now and I really hoped I wouldn't have to do this, but this watch is completely effed. Okay? This watch is screwed up. I know it has bands on it right now. These bands pop off every couple of days. So they've been on here for about a day. Anyway, my point is, is that I was outside working. You know, these are from AliExpress, by the way. They were like two bucks. They're silicone bands. I actually don't mind them. And I was wearing these. And because I had to fiddle around with their stupid adapters that didn't go on easily at all, I had to take the case off. Then they went on, but they only went on backwards. Then I realized at the end of the video they were backwards, took the case back off, put them on properly. And at this point, I had been fiddling with this for over an hour. And what had happened was... I had elongated one of the holes that the spring bars go in. It's just plastic in there, which sucks. It's a design flaw in the G-Shock, if you ask me. But that being said, nothing will hold on this watch now. This watch is completely ruined, and it was supposed to be a giveaway for you guys. And I know this is holding right now, but I don't dare mess with it. Also, I don't really like wearing this watch because I know it's just going to pop off my wrist at a weird moment. You know, I was outside working, and it just flew off again. And this was just a couple of days ago. So I'm really pissed off. So... I sent an email explaining what happened, and here's what I got back. As you can see, I had been promised by the owner a replacement watch. Then I hear from Josh. Here's that email. Boom. He made sure we had the correct model, and he was going to make sure they get ordered. And on top of that, I asked him to install the adapters, and this time a green, I did change the color, green canvas uh, straps. If they could just install those for me, I won't have to mess with it, just in case it was user error. Now, that being said, I was an HVAC technician for some time. I'm a very handy guy. You guys have seen my she's. I'm a craftsman. Okay, and if I'm having a hard time with these adapters, I bet most of you will as well. And Clay said that this was a completely unique experience. Well, people popped up in my comments saying they had the same issue. So apparently I'm not the only one. Other people have had issues putting these adapters on. And rather than just say, yeah, it's a design flaw of the G-Shock Square in itself, it does require a bit of patience. You can screw them up. Please be careful. My adapters didn't even arrive with any instructions. I had to go online, watch YouTube videos. Some of them made it look very easy. Some of them are, were very honest about how difficult it was. So whatever happened to mine, I had a major issue. It screwed mine up. And I let them know that. Now, Clay said in the email, and I'll post it again. Here it is. He thinks it might be user error, but as a sign of good faith, he was going to replace the watch anyway. Now, since I got these bands to hold on here, and I knew this was a little dinged up anyway, I was going to give you guys this one and the combi bracelet if you can get it on there and just let you tinker with it. If you wanted to put a mod kit on there, replace the case, it's still a good deal. It's a free watch and it's the apocalypse watch I recommend because you don't ever need to change the battery or set the time. And I really, really love that about this watch. I think this watch is super cool, by the way. So even with it kind of being dinged up and kind of screwed up, with them sending me a replacement, I was still going to give you guys this one, and I thought that was going to be a decent giveaway. Well, what happened? They never sent anything. And not only did they never send anything, let's tally up how much money I have invested in Barton watch bands. This pair, which I don't have the other half for, this pair, which I don't have the other half for, the pair that I bought for here that I actually sent back with a handwritten letter that I never got reimbursed for, the adapters that I never got reimbursed for, the canvas gray uh, bands that I never got reimbursed for. This watch was $200 when I bought it. It's bricked now. There's $200 gone. I have to rebuy it since they refused to replace it. So there's added cost. Let's add all that up. How much is that total? That's what I'm freaking out. 
That's what Barton Watch Bands has cost me. On top of that, I was still cool, and I approached them to be a freaking help them sponsor their stuff. Okay? I gave them a silly cheap deal to run ads on my channel. Because I said, hey, faulty products happen, but customer service is king to my viewers. You guys are always going off about that. And in the comment section of the last video, you told me, Joe, let it rip. So here we go. I'm letting it rip. These guys suck. I'm pissed off. This was on August 3rd they were supposed to send their stuff. I have to go on my camping trip this weekend, and I don't have a good watch to wear. And I have to get footage for Denver Survival. And I know you have mixed feelings on them and their pricing. However... Denver Survival is uh, kind of rebranding to more urban survival stuff, and I think that'll be actually pretty cool to see what they do with it. And I really like their survival shovel and the bag they sent me. So whatever you guys say, hey, I like what I paid for it, and I'm going to review that stuff honestly. So I promised Denver Survival that I would get some footage for them. I promised Hill People Gear that I would get some footage for them on their chest rig that they sent me and new straps. That's so cool, Okay. And whatever you think about these companies' products or prices, by the way, they shot me straight. They've been very honest with me. They've been very forthcoming. And that goes a long way with me. What did Barton watch bands do? They left me twisting in the wind. They left me holding the bag on this stuff. They cost me a bunch of money when you guys know I'm fairly brokish. Okay? All my money goes back into the companies. All of it. So for me to be out 400 plus beans, 500 beans, something silly over the course of my tenure with these people... Just it all adds up to like dishonesty. And the fact that they never got back to me is scummy. I hate companies like that. I can't stand that. And why am I freaking out so much? It's because I liked them so much. I only get mad when I'm disappointed when I like someone or their company or products and then they let me down. You know what I mean? You know, I assume everybody's out to rip me off at all times. So if they approach me with this kind of nonsense, you know, I would have seen it coming and I wouldn't care and there probably wouldn't even be a video on it. However, because they were so kind in the beginning, because they offered to replace the watch, which they never did, okay, and because they um, were interested in working with me, can't wait to work with you, Joe, they were interested in sponsoring the channel. We have other sponsors lined up, but I'm really gun-shy now. I'm really afraid to team up with anybody because I've been lied to by one company and burned and had to take the video down when you guys did the research and found out they were full of shit, right? And now a second company and nothing happened. We had good interactions leading up to it. Finally, I got pissed when it took too long. I called and called and called. No one ever answered the phone. Do me a favor. Give them a holler and see if anybody answers the phone and report back to the comments whether or not you were answered. Okay? Maybe shoot them an email just saying this is a test of your customer service. Let me know in the comments. Did you get a response? That's what I want to know. So this is a call to action. You guys wanted me to make this video. I'm sticking my neck out. I don't mind. I'll take them on. I'll take on any company that rips us off. That being said, I think the reason they ignored me is because it's a smaller channel and they don't think anybody's going to see this. So call to action, share the hell out of this video. Share this with everybody, get everybody involved, you know, get the view count way up on it and, you know, really hit them where it hurts because if they're going to freaking ignore me, they're going to ignore you. Okay. And I want you to report back to me. I I'm very curious what kind of interactions you guys had. The only thing I can think of is maybe they watched one of my videos. You know, I did Troll of the Week, you know, comedic, funny, poking fun at somebody, something like that. And they thought, ooh, maybe, maybe this five-minute knives is kind of a risk for us. Maybe he's going to say something weird and we're going to be in trouble for, you know, sponsoring this. You know, maybe that was it. But I would have included my opinions are my own and do not reflect the opinions of my sponsors. That's just professional. And I would have done it anyway. This is not a unique arrangement I have where it's top down, just my stupid hands, and you get sponsors to review gear. Very common on YouTube. I see a lot of copycat channels popping up too that look just like mine. They're using the same GIFs and stuff. That's why I stopped using them. I was just like, damn, you know, like, granted, you can say this isn't totally original. But one thing you can't say is my personality is not original. There's nobody like me out there. And they keep trying and it comes across kind of weird. Guys, copycat channels or whatever, I'm not mad at you. Do your thing. You know, build up your, your following, whatever. But you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You got to be yourself. Be yourself. Be patient. Be consistent. And your channel will grow no matter what. Guys, like I said, follow Josh Fields' channel. Josh's life, whatever. I'll put a link to it in the description. That's a channel where that guy will be honest with you. You can leave him a comment asking him a question. Hey, Josh, what do you think about this company? He will tell you, I do not do business with that company because this happened. And he's not afraid to say it. So I'm going to take a page out of your book, bud. 
I know you think that I influenced you in some way to start your own channel or whatever, you know, because I certainly was uh, encouraging you to do that. That being said, you've influenced me in a great way where I don't take shit from these companies anymore and I will be very, very honest with the company screws me over. As a matter of fact, there's companies that Josh won't do business with that I still do business with because they haven't done the same thing to me yet, right? But I have it in the back of my head. As soon as they do that, I'm out. No more money from me, no more endorsement, and I will probably make a video on it because if we can't punch back, what do we got going? You know, we're just chumps. We're just chumps. And they said they're a small company too. So if they're a small company, they can't afford to take a hit like this. This is an evergreen ad. As my channel grows, more and more people will see this video and let this be a lesson to other companies. You're on notice. You screw us over. You lie to us. You don't follow through with your timelines. You, you give us faulty products that break all the time, you know, and I guarantee you there's going to be people showing up in the comments saying, you know, I had a Barton watch band thing break and they went ahead and replaced it instantly. I have no problems with them. Great. You're a sample of one. What I'm saying is I have a YouTube channel. They knew that very well and they still took the risk of ignoring me when they promised to replace my watch, to refund me for the bands that broke and never did. Also, you know, I kept wondering why they never sent a 30 second ad for their company. I'd play it in the beginning where I play my Dragon Scale Concealment. Uh, Josh seemed very excited about that. I don't know if he's been fired or what, but there seems to be a lack of communication between him and the owner. So I don't know what's going on over there, but you know what? Guys, I would save your damn money. Also, I'm asking another favor. Tell me where I should spend my money in the future. I got these from AliExpress and you can say what you want about like these like kind of cheap Chinese products. But where do you think Barton's getting their stuff? They don't have manufacturing in the States. It's probably coming from China too, man. Right? All manufacturing's in China for the most part now. Everything's in China. Point to your person of an article of clothing or something you wear or use every day that was not made in China. I bet you only have a handful of things. Right? Everything's made in China now. So I don't fault them for that if that's true. What I do fault them for is promising me something and then just ghosting me. That's all they did was they ghost me. They never answered anything. Even Tina said, Clay's going to call you tomorrow. I waited around. He never called. Okay? Apparently, they don't want to talk to me because I seem pissed in my last email. Well, guess what? I am pissed. And maybe you don't want to talk to me because I will freak out a little bit. So rather than just yell at people on the phone, I figured I'd make a video. I'd explain to you guys what happened, why the giveaway never happened, so I don't look like a stupid liar. You know, I'm not a liar. OK, and for those of you that have done business with me and bought a sheath from my company, put in the comments how good the customer service was, how much back and forth I did with you, how I never ignored a message or an email or anything like that. I never left you hanging. And if anything was wrong, I always offer a full refund and I make the damn thing again. Right. I'm a small company, too. That's why I'm pissed. I know better. I know how to treat a customer. And that's why you guys keep me fed. Right. That's why you guys keep coming back and watching this stupid channel. Because I'm not lying to you. And when I'm wrong, because I have been in the past, that one company, right? What did I do? I took it right down and I cut ties. That was it. Quick. And all based on the strength of the research you guys helped me do, I had no idea. And by the way, I can only take these companies at face value. And for those of you with the copycat channels or for Josh that's just starting out, let this be a warning, bud. This is the kind of thing you run into with your own channel. Companies will try to screw you over. They'll try to get you to shill for them. They'll try to lie to you. So you lie to your, your viewers. And then you're the one with egg on your face because what did they do? Nothing. Nothing. It's you that takes the hit in the eyes of your viewership. So I'm not taking a hit with my viewers. I'm honest with them. And if I screw up, I announce it. I screwed up once before with a company that took advantage of me and I took all their stuff down. Now, I did not make a dedicated video denouncing them. Because they went real quiet after that. And I think they know their place. They know that these are evergreen ads. They know that we will freak out. And plus, they already have plenty of bad press out there. So it was kind of my fault for not doing the due diligence. This time, I had been ordering from this company for years. And some of their products actually turned out okay. Hang on. These bands are good. These leathery things. I think I got them from Barton. Yeah. Yeah. These were fine. Okay. Those worked. Just don't get the silicone bands if you're going to order from them. Okay, last favor, aside from you sharing the hell out of this, I want the views way up. Watch this video on repeat if you have to for a while. But here's the thing. Tell me where I should be ordering my stuff from because I am a watch guy and all I knew was Barton watch bands. So I, you know, I don't want to do AliExpress for everything. I mean, it feels okay. It's not bad, but it's, it's, it's not, I wasn't excited like I was. These are like supple. They feel nice. I need good bands, preferably canvas or some hybrid material. 
and I'm going to reorder this watch. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to give you guys with that. That being said, we're going to work something out in the future. I'm going to make sure you guys get a G-Shock and a good one too because these are the best Apocalypse watches in my opinion for those that don't feel like dealing with smartphones. But I'm red hot, man. Can't you tell? I'm f***ing pissed. I am pissed off. Urgh. Especially because I was dealing with people. It's not just some faceless company. I know their names. They were talking to me directly. They sent me messages directly. And then they all decided to put me on a pay no mind list. No, 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 no. What do you got me on a fucking pay no mind list, kid? So the last email I sent them, which I don't even bother to post here, won't even bother to post here, uh, told them, hey, buds, I'm going to make a video about this and I'm getting upset. Okay, just a heads up. If you don't want me to do that, it wasn't a threat. It was a warning. Okay, it was what comes next. All right, I don't threaten people. I tell them what I'm going to do. There's a big difference. Some people threaten, they never follow through. I tell you I'm going to make the video. Two weeks later, here we are. Okay, and I even ran it by the viewership and you guys all told me to let them have it. So we got to hold these companies accountable. I will never do business with Barton Watch Bands for the rest of my life. That's it. And I'm 42, so it shouldn't take that long. <laughs> That being said, um, you know, as much as I would encourage you guys to do business with them when things were good, it's exactly the opposite now. If they would have followed through, okay, and did just what they said, they didn't even have to offer me a replacement watch. He let out with that, and I, I took him up on it. This is busted. I can't wear this. Okay, fair enough. I do want my replacement watch. I'm cranky that my favorite watch is busted now. And I don't think it's user error, by the way, because other people have had the same issue, and I'm a very handy guy. But I acknowledge, maybe it's user error. Freaking maybe. Okay, I'll meet them halfway. Maybe I screwed it up. That being said, if I screwed it up, something's wrong with your product because I'm handy. That's why. I build things. I'm meticulous with my details. I'm very gentle with stuff. I worked on, like, AC units that were, like, you know, I did commercial and residential. We did a lot of stuff. Okay? I didn't blow those things up. How come this didn't work out? Something to do with the product. Okay, and I think the, the adapters I got were screwed up. And I think another reason they didn't send them to me is because they may have had the same issues installing them. That's why I told them, you install them before you send it. And how much you want to bet they screwed that watch up, panicked, and then ghosted me. That's my theory. You let me know what you think your theory is. Also, let me know if you can get through to them in customer service as a test. Also, share the hell out of this. Put it on social media. I want everybody clicking on this video for many, many, many years. And that's your punishment for being a crappy company and not having good customer service. I don't care if somebody died. Somebody else should be making the calls. And I've been sending emails. Who the F is ignoring me over there? And why? Why wouldn't you just call me and say, hey, Joe, I saw this video and your content doesn't look like it would be good for our brand. We're going to pull out of that. But I'm going to honor what I said and send you that watch anyway. And here's your refunds for the crappy bands. I'm out all that money. Okay, that's the other thing that stinks too. I don't have a ton of money to be thrown around. That's the cost of a mechanism. By the way, I just bought the Shield Plus, which I really love. So, new mechanism. But, guys, guys, do you feel me in the comments? Has this happened to you? What companies have screwed you over? Educate me because I want to avoid them. Since I'm a fairly new YouTuber, I do not want to team up with these people anymore. Nor anyone like them. Anyway, I'm done ranting. It's a long-ass video. I got to edit this whole stupid thing. Not excited about it. I'm even pissed that I have to edit a 25-minute video. Let's get this down to 20 if I can. So, pissed off. Pissed off Dragon over here, okay? So, again, if you've done business with me, leave it in the comments. How did your interactions go? Did I answer your emails instantly? You know? How many emails did we have back and forth? Seven, eight, nine on each of your she's? I never mind. Guys, you're never bothering me. Your customers, okay? Your friends and your viewers. Your subscribers to the channel. You're the Knerfels. You guys keep me going. You give me strength when I get pissed off and I want to take on a company. You're the ones that are cheering me on, and I love it. I absolutely love it. If you like stuff like this, get over on Subscribestar. Throw me a bean a month. We do giveaways all the time. And, um, you know, whatever I have laying around that people send me, I use it as a giveaway. Maybe it's not the sexiest thing in the world. That being said, I'm honest. People send things in, and I give them away. That's how that works. So that's it for me. I'm pissed off. I'm going to go cool off and uh, do some watch shopping, right? See you guys next time on 5-Minute Knives.